now i would request padam bhushan vaidya devendra triguna president national ayurveda academy of ayurveda india for the um, inaugural speech and uh, please sir honorable param adarniya prime minister of nepal shri push kamal dohel ji भारत सरकार के राजदूत नवनीत जी और सुभाष राणा डे जी डॉक्टर राइनर पीचर जी एंड जॉन हैगलिन दीपक बस्कोटा जी हमारे गिरीश गिरीश ममाया जी और हमारे भारत सरकार से आए हुए एन सी एम के श्री राकेश शर्मा जी और इस मंच पर और ऑफ द डाइस सारे दुनिया से जो लोग डेलीगेट्स आए हैं मुझे उनका स्वागत करते हुए इस महर्षि फाउंडेशन और आयुर्वेद की तरफ से बहुत प्रसन्नता हो रही है वेरी हैप्पी एंड दिस इज द सेवन्थ इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाई विद द ग्रेट एफर्ट्स ऑफ श्री गिरीश मोमाया जी सर आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट वी आर इन द लैंड ऑफ Rishis in the land of Vedas, in the land of this man, as Maharshi Ji has said, he came in 1974 here. So uh, this is a great land, and Ayurveda and yoga and Maharshis have been the origin of India and Nepal. In India also, our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi Ji, since he has come, has given a lot of importance. for ayurved yog and other ayush system of medicines we have two cabinet ministers we have secretary of ayush who is a vaidya vaid rajesh kotecha it's a great honor for us so he has given so much importance and uh, if india and nepal have a mou with the ministry of ayush and the government of nepal so that the ayurveda and yog can be spread all over the world as in the un yog has been established by the great uh, efforts of our prime minister of india so again the this this uh, time is now the time for you ayurved so ayurved can be got, uh, taken from india and nepal all over the world as in uh, jamnagar the who has also established the global center for traditional system medicine which is a great importance for india for the whole over the world that the center in jamnagar now Made, uh, uh, made by the who so i am just saying that this, this is a time for ayurveda and yog which maharshi ji has taken this uh, talks in light late 70s i know that 78 79 when he established tm transcendental meditation all over the world he said when he called my father vaid braspati dev trigna ji that we want to take ayurveda along with yog all over the world now maharaja dr tony nader He is taking this course at a great effort from all over the world. So this is a time when India and Nepal can lead in the uh, for yoga and Ayurved. That's my request. I would like to request the Prime Minister of Nepal that this we should take the lead all over the world. Thank you, Jay Ayurved. Now it's my great honor and pleasure to introduce. Padma Bhushan Vaidya Devendra Trigunaji President National Academy of Ayurveda Ministry of Ayush Government of India I like to mention that uh, Dr Trigunas father late Prihaspadev Trigunaji he was working as a pioneer right when Maharshi started to revive Ayurveda he was one of the great leaders and he traveled around the world with his son Uh, to introduce ayurveda to so many governments in the world he went many times to who in geneva i had the joy to make appointments for him and his father to see the pulse of the doctors and these health ministers from the world they were so inspired by their capability of taking the pulse that they got interested in ayurveda and they invited mahashi university to go to their countries and start training doctors that was 35 years ago so dr triguna 
Padma Bhushan is really very great to have you here, great honor, and please deliver your speech. First of all, I would like to remember Maharshi Ji, a great saint. I have a lot of memories with him, with my father, with Maharshi Ji. He started meditation tea movement, and then he has taken Ayurveda with, with meditation in 1977-78. When we called him, when he called my father to take along Ayurveda all over the world. And then not only the Ayurveda, but all like Jyotish, Karamkand, Sthapatya Ved, Maharshi Ganit, Maharshi Jyotish, and all these, these all things were taken by Maharshi all over the world. And as I have said a couple of times that the contribution or the Ashirvad was given by Maharshi Ji to all over the world from India, the land of Vedas, is immense. Even maybe 10 times more than the Swami Vivekananji. So this is a great contribution by Maharshi Ji. He's, he was a great saint. And we used, we used to go more, more than 25 years, either in India or Holland or in America, even on his birthday, 12th of January, or Guru Purnima every year. All people from around the world were gathering there. And he, with his blessings, and with uh, Father's blessing, how the, this Maharshi Ayurveda was started, Anand Srivastavji has was appointed to start that Maharshi Ayurveda. So that's about our movement that uh, Girish Ji has taken this task from the last, this is the seventh international conference. He's doing a very great job with the blessings of Maharaja Tony Nader and all other, either it is Bevan Morris or John Hagelin or uh, what was his name from Canada? Neil Peterson and all these, all these, uh, who was all Maharshi's devotees are doing a great job and they should do continuities. So that's my feeling that because we have been with this movement since 1977. In the present era, medical fields are most focusing over disease and abnormal biomarkers. During the course of disease, by understanding the root cause of this, we have a different branch of medicine to deal with the both holistic, Ayurveda, all this Ayu system of medicine and allopathic medicine should hand to hand in order to reach the root cause of any disease. Because one is not in, one is incomplete without others, whereas the holistic system deals with the mind, body, and the spirit to support health and healing. In other words, it is a combi combining of mental and the emotional health with the physical and the spiritual aspects of experience, and with the help of allopathic system of medicine, which slow down the chronicity of the disease through their advances, technology, and the surgical management. Human body is extremely complex in their body structure. Every human being wants to be healthy. So in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle, we first have to understand what is healthy and where it is important. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and the social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. This statement from the preamble to the World WHO Organization Constitution, due to the changes in the environment and the food habits, which leads to the imbalance in the body and cellular level, which increases the risk of developing diseases. The occurrence of human disease is often accompanied by the abnormalities in the structure and functioning of the multiple tissue cells and organs, which manifest as the abnormal changes at the micro level in the form of numerous biomarkers. And the course of disease is characterized by extensive networks of interaction among different parts. China or the Chinese traditional medicine in order to deal with the disease, but in our country, we have integrated system of medicine, allopathic medicine and the holistic medicine. And here I can say that if from the India, if the allopathic medicine and the Ayurveda and you can combine together, we can make a, such a system of health medicine, which will be very cost effective. People will have a lot of benefit because in a country like America cannot afford this health system, which is so expensive. People cannot afford, even in US, the heart can afford all other parts of the world. So this is the right time that India, in India, the yoga, the Ayurveda, and the allopathic system of medicine, they should form such a system of 
health medicine, which is very cost effective and very good for the peoples. Holistic health in approach to wellness and the simultaneously addresses the physical, mental, emotional, social, and the spiritual components of health. As a field of practice, holistic medicine draws from many disciplines, religious and cultures to heal people, communities, and even the environment. Whereas the herbal remedies used in the traditional medicines are currently considered as a components of complementary or alternative medicines, depending on the use and nature of treatment, these are sometimes referred to as the natural medicine, non-conventional medicine, or the holistic medicine. These medicines in whichever form they are intended and used have always maintained good popularity worldwide. Over the last decade, there has been a remarkable increase in the use of herbal medicine in many developed and the developing countries. In some countries such as India, China, such medicines mostly touted as traditional medicine or herbal medicine can be prescribed by doctors but are mainly recommended as a dietary supplement in certain countries such like US and the other parts of Europe. Holistic medicines holds the people should try to maintain a balance between their physical and the emotional process which seeking harmony and the environment disease occurs when this balance is disrupted. Holistic doctor may use all form of healthcare from conventional medicines to the alternative therapies to treat the patient. There is a, big, there is a very good example. When this COVID started, nobody in the world was knowing that what is the medicine for COVID. No, the treatment, nothing was known. Even in India also, we have seen the Prime Minister had, we had a meeting with the Prime Minister, the virtual meeting from, the, from Delhi. I also joined with the Prime Minister. And then we have given the suggestions from the All India Advocate Congress, from myself, that we should make the uh, immunity stronger. We should fight with the disease. And that's how the kara was made. The Rasayanas were given, Brahma Rasayana, Chavan Prash, Ashwagandha or Shatavar, or all these, even Amla, or uh, milk with the uh, turmeric, all these things were given. So one or other, any, everybody in India was taking all these remedies. That's why in India, the COVID was not at that level, which was in America or Europe. So that was the thing that Ayurveda and the yoga has given the immunity to the Indian peoples and to all over the world. That's why we have exported. We have given this kara, all these things that were the signers to all over the world. And even we have seen in the uh, era of uh, when it was COVID, all the industries were closed. But the Ayurveda industry was working all the three shifts, 24 hours, and their production almost more than six times in that period. So that industry boomed and people had a lot of faith in Ayurveda. And our Prime Minister, who is a brand ambassador of Ayurveda and Yoga all over the world, and he always speaks in once in a month, whenever he has the time, whenever he gets about the Ayurveda or the Yoga. So Yoga has been established by our Prime Minister in the world, in the WHO on the 21st of June. And um, Prime Minister has said, now this is the time is for the Ayurveda for all over the world in the WHO. The WH has opened a traditional global center for traditional medicine in Jamnagar, which was inaugurated by the WHO DG and our Prime Minister of India, the Prime Minister of Mauritius. So this was a great occasion for the traditional medicine. The center has been opened there. And the traditional me medicine is considered one of the mainstays of healthcare. I would say that Ayurveda is not tradition. It is the main system of medicine in India. The word has been given by you can know a lot, lot of people have given, but it's not by the India. We are the mainstream of medicine in India, but we should work together, right? It's allopathy or Ayurveda or yoga to make the people healthy. Maharshi has given a word to, to make, to create a disease-free society. We have to make our people healthy. Medicine come afterwards. We should uh, make the people more healthy by yoga, by Ayurveda, by way of life, by Ahar and Bihar. This is what Ayurveda says. In India, Ayurveda and yoga and uh, all these Ayush systems, among the Ayurveda is the most widely practiced system in the Southeast Asia, popularly not only in India, but also in Nepal, Sri Lanka, Mauritius, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Maldives. Yoga is also like, it has been established all over the world now. And in the United Nations, they have already accepted yoga as a uh, 
uh, in all, almost 190 countries. So health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, not merely absence of disease in the infinity. Swasti is the word used in Ayurveda to denote health. It means to maintain the equilibrium of doshas, dhatus, and malas in the proper functioning of atma, indri and mama, and mana in the body. Yoga connects the mind with the body to maintain the health, but prevalence of lifestyle disorders, shooting up in the present era and positive health become questionable. Static says that the Age of, at the age of 40, prevalence of lifestyle disorders are more than 50%. I will only say in the end that Ayurveda is Ayurveda, but Maharshi has taken this Ayurveda to begin the purity of uh, Ayurveda. With the great exponents of Ayurveda, I will say, put a couple of names, my father, Prasapati Dev Trignaji, and uh, he was the, the Panchkarma expert, from Ahmedabad, and then V. N. Devedi ji, Balraj Maharshi ji, and then at, that was the era when hundreds of Vedas were sent all over the world to, to teach uh, Ayurveda. And like in America, and, and in, even in MIU, there are all, in other universities in America, hundreds of universities are now teaching Ayurveda. Thousands of American doctors are practicing Ayurveda. Hundreds of doctors even in Europe are practicing Ayurveda. So this is all the uh, I used to say that the Maharshi Ayurveda, the Maharshi is blessing that the Ayurveda has spread. And now our ministry of Ayush, with the great vision of Prime Minister, our ministers, and especially our secretary, Vedradesh Kotecha ji, our advisors, Manoj Nisri, Upadhyay ji, they have taken a task to, to make this Ayurveda all over the world. Lot of MUs has been done, lot of chairs has been opened all over the world. So this is how now the globally the Ayurveda is coming. So I will thanks. Maharshi, this foundation development, especially the Maharaja and Girish Mumbaya ji that were taking this cause. This is the seventh international conference, one of very good conferences we have done, uh, seen in Holland, seen in Brazil, seen in London. So all these conferences are a very good uh, pace. So we should continue this and support this uh, movement and, and the Maharshi's transcendental meditation. Maharshi's blessings are with us. So with these few words, I will end my speech. Jai Ayurveda.